Hey, welcome to J&J's Maintenance and More. <clears throat> Today, I'm working on a North Star 13,000 watt tri-fuel generator. I got it true it's 20 years old or so. But anyways, the other day we had a power outage and I started to use it. It was working good. Next thing you know, things started to get a little bit dim. And I come out and did a voltage check on it and it was down like to 90 volts. So, I did a little bit of investigating, and I found out that the, um, the um, capacitors were bad. So, this is what I'm working on right here. I came out, I pulled the top off of this right here. If you can see in here, as good as I can get in here, there's a couple of capacitors in here on top of the generator so I'm literally here's the bottom part of the generator I'm straight up here there was a black cover in here and there's two capacitors in there these ones are the new ones so I just put those in started the generator and checked the voltage and everything is good I'm back up to where it was supposed to be up around you know you should be getting around 120 out of a out of a, your plug or your uh, 240 out of the one the 50 amp one so anyways when I came out and pulled that top off here's what I found this is one of the capacitors here's the other capacitor um, when I took these out I had to get a hold of an electrical place to figure out what was going on with it and the, the different numbers what they meant because I'm not an electrician by any means so but what I found out is this these are uh, um, this one here is a 35 UF and this one here is a 40 UF so not that you can probably read the numbers anyways in this generator the 40 UF was in the back the 35 UF was to the front alright so whenever that you're doing this make sure I, I took pictures and videos and everything of where the wires went and where that the capacitors were and all of that stuff make sure I get the right one in the right place it, I guess it's pretty important from what that everyone was telling me so the that was the voltage problem 20 years never had a problem till the other day so I guess that's not too bad um, other than that um, it was pretty straightforward there's a, a cover that black cover right in here it goes back up on top of the there which I got to put back on I didn't want to put it back on until I did the op test make sure my voltage was right so I hope this helps some folks out and uh, if it did uh, please comment on it like it share it and subscribe to the channel we do do a lot of different things here we do maintenance repairs all kind of stuff so the other day I had a video up on here about where the, those capacitors were located. I've done some engine rebuild stuff, some outdoor stuff. So anyways, I hope this helps you out. Again, hit your notifications button, subscribe to the channel, and y'all have a great day.